This is Katherine Schmer, and we're in the section on partial derivatives. In this video, we'll talk about estimating partial derivatives from a contour map. So here is an example of a contour map. We have our xy grid, and on that grid we have these lines that are um, curving along, and each line has a number attached to it. Now that number attached to the line is the elevation, or what we would consider the z value, of the function at that point in the xy plane. We're asked to use the given contour map of f to estimate the value of f of 2, 1, f sub x of 2, 1, or the partial derivative with respect to x at the point 2, 1, and f sub y at the point 2, 1. So first of all, we're focusing on this point 2, 1, so I'm going to start starting from the origin. I'll count over 2 in the x direction, up 1 in the y direction, so just like you would on your regular um, regular Cartesian plane, because that's what this is. So here's my point um, at x equals 2, y equals 1, and you can see that the contour line that goes through this point has the number 10 attached to it, and that's my z value. And so I would say that the function f at the point 2, 1 is equal to 10, so I'm giving the z value of that function. So that's how we read our contour maps. And now what we want to do is we want to try to use this map to estimate partial derivatives. So we want the partial derivative with respect to x at the point 2, 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my basic slope formula. This is going to equal the change in z over the change in x. So because I'm doing the derivative with respect to x, I do change in x on the bottom. And then the numerator, we're always looking at how our three-dimensional function changes, so that's the change in the z value. So to do this, we need a small neighborhood around x equals 2. So because I'm doing the derivative with respect to x, I'm going to look to the left and the right of my point, because I'm going to be heading in the x direction and figuring out the slope in that direction. And that's what my partial derivative with respect to x finds. Okay, so I'm going to pick a little neighborhood. I put these little um, parentheses around the point x equals 2, so I might say that this is at x equals 1.5. And what I want to do is I want to estimate um, what the z value is there. And so I have z equals, and what I want to do is use those contour lines to estimate. So I have the contour line um, z equals 8 and z equals 10, and my point is somewhere in between those two. So I have 8 and 10, and I would just guess that my contour line is halfway between them. So I'm going to say z equals 9. And then on the other side, I have x equals 2.5, because I went half a unit in, to the right of the point x equals 2. And again, I look at the contour lines that are closest. I have um, x e or z equals 10 and z equals 12. And it looks like my point is very close to the z equals 12 contour line, but not exactly on it. So I'm going to just estimate. I'm going to say z equals 11.7. That's what it looks like to me. This is an estimate, so um, you and your neighbor may get something slightly different. So I put in my z2 minus z1, 11.7 minus 9, over my x2 minus x1, so over 2.5 minus 1.5. So I get 2.7. So 2.7 is... Um, telling me that that's the slope of the ground if I walked to the right from that point. Now I want the partial derivative with respect to y at the point 2, 1, and it follows the same pattern. It's the change in z over the change in y because I'm doing the derivative with respect to y. So this will give me the slope of the ground if I walked north 
from that point. So I need a small neighborhood around y equals 1. So I'm going to go up and down from my point to 1. So I'll um, go up half a point and down half a point. So I have y equals 1.5 and it looks like the contour line that goes through that would be about z equals 9. So I'm going to say z equals 9. And then down from the point y equals 1, um, I have uh, y equals 0 0.5 and my z it looks like I would be between the contour lines of z equals 10 and z equals 12 a little closer to the 12 um, so I might say 11.3 for my z and again this is an estimate we're not um, giving you an exact answer from a contour map because we're, it's all visual we can't give an exact um, value so I do z2 minus z1, so 9 minus 11.3, over y2 minus y1, so 1.5 minus 0 0.5, and I get negative 2.3. So what that means, that's the slope of the ground if I went north from my point. So um, the x, the change in x, change in z over change in x is uphill to the east with a slope of 2.7. The change in y um, or change in z over change in y is downhill to the north because it's negative. So that's how we estimate our partial derivatives using a contour map. We can't get exact values, but you just build a small neighborhood um, either in the x direction for the partial with respect to x or in the y direction for the partial with respect to y.